This is Charlie Kale with Travel Mall TV at Focus Right Conference in Fort Lauderdale with Gordon Wilson, CEO of Travelport. Hi, Gordon. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Very good. Sounds like you have some new innovation that Travelport has, has recently launched to tell us about. Well, we've launched um, three major new innovations here at the show. The first one we've launched, obviously, with Priceline, whereby Priceline has put a new app out on the iPad, uh, which they call Priceline Explore, which enables consumers to do fuzzy search. So, in other words, rather than you know, from, to, and date, it's now, I want to spend about $500, so I want to go um, to somewhere with a beach, I'm going to fly for about two hours to get there. What have you got? Wow. Um, and it's a really nifty app Priceline's developed, and, it, and it's back-ended by... Um, our flex search technology uh, within Travelport. So we're very excited about that. Uh, we've launched our new um, App Store um, marketplace um, whereby we're putting uh, various applications that we've developed and or third party app uh, developers have developed into an App Store so that people can buy them and download them. Uh, and we've also introduced an SDK, a software developer kit, into our SmartPoint uh, agency desktop application so that third party applications can be integrated into our SmartPoint um, desktop, which is now you know, um, rolled out to about 65% of our customer base. So all pretty exciting stuff. 65%? 65% of our customer base have either the SmartPoint app or they have Universal Desktop, one of the two. And uh, I presume you are getting feedback uh, on the increased productivity or maybe... Uh, I mean, what feedback are you getting from them of, of the increased value to them? Uh, we're getting three tough kinds of feedback. One is the productivity that you mentioned, you know, the fact that they, they, um, it's easier to navigate, it's faster to do entries, etc. The second piece is that we've made some things that previously were quite cumbersome to get to. Let's take, for example, you're trying to make a change on a, on a fare, and you're trying to find where the change rules are, you know, for, for making a change. Right. Uh, you have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to get it. But we've brought that information right up front in our latest um, uh, iteration of the app to make it easy to go to where, what the change fees are so that consultants can make changes faster. And then the third piece is obviously um, a smart point is the showcase to enable us to put in all this rich data and content and branding which we're bringing in over the next um, you know, few months with airlines whereby they can put in pictures of their uh, products, their seats. They can give you descriptive information about the kind of seat pitch they've got. Which seats have got Wi-Fi, which seats haven't got Wi-Fi, which seats have got power, which seats haven't got power. All this kind of um, capability airlines you know, have said that they want to enable them to show their true value is becoming available through the SmartPoint um, application and indeed Universal Desktop. How's the whole uh, data uh, availability with uh, the ancillary services uh, airlines offer. Is that progressing uh, at all? It's progressing well. I mean, we're, we're seeing treble digit increases in terms of the ancillaries booked through the system. And we've got airlines from Air France, KLM, Aegean, British, Delta, um, EasyJet, um, all of them putting their ancillary products into uh, into Travelport. Now, the, the usage is from a low base, so treble digit sounds great, but it's from a very low, low base. But as we put out more of the smart point desktop in which it's easier to sell these ancillaries, it's a nicer display, etc., then I think we'll see you know, an even further exponential growth in the sale of ancillaries, in the sale of fares families, in upsells that airlines can make on their products, etc. You know, I guess I wasn't uh, keeping track of certain things. I didn't realize till recently that contract airfare, negotiated airfare, which, which I thought was not in too many of the GDSs, apparently are. Oh. And, and now, so I learned that, but you're going to tell me. The other part, of course, is I've heard you tell me so much about the hotel content you've added. So everything's in the GDS now, isn't it? Well, I, I wouldn't say everything. I mean, to, to, give you, uh, to answer your question on hotel content, I mean, we've now got 525 thousand unique properties, hotels, guest houses, etc., bookable in our system, displayable and bookable in our system through our rooms and more. Including uh, negotiated these, these uh, GTA type uh, including content. Consolidators Consolidator and, and like, hotel content. And, and of course the hotel chains have been able to put in special negotiated rates into our system forever. Uh, for corporations and, and the like. Right. Um, in terms of, of airfares, um, again, airlines have been able to put in privately negotiated fares, special rate fares or whatever for a particular travel agency or a particular corporation. Uh, again, for years they've been able to, uh, you know, to do that and all that data is there. And then, you know, on ancillaries, as I said to your earlier question, we are growing 
exponential number of airlines and the number of ancillaries that we sell to our system and that will continue to grow. Mm. We haven't got them all in yet, you know, but we're working to a very, very thick and steady pipeline of airlines queuing up now to get their content in. And the last piece is low-cost airlines. It's because we've got um, carriers like EasyJet on board, we've got Transavia in Holland, uh, we've just signed two major airline, major Asian low-cost airlines who we're going to announce in the next few weeks who are coming into Well, I can uh, guess our, our one product. in India, um, but... <laughs> uh, and, uh, and that's all very um, that's all very exciting. So the, the depth mm -hmm. and breadth of content that we're distributing is getting wow. broader and broader all the time. And that's our commitment to our customers to make sure they've got as much as we can amass and aggregate, we're going to make it available to the traveling. Well, last question, Gordon. I have a feeling you may say, oh, it's already there. When is dynamic packaging happening on Travelport? Well, the number packaging is, is really, you know, an app, a rules-based application which a travel agency can use in order to assemble, you know, bits of, of content into a cohesive whole. Yeah. So there are many vendors out there providing the basic um, dynamic packaging tools, that, rules engine. That is a GDS. You don't need to. I don't need to because we, we plug into we plug into those guys here for the content. They can do the rules engine because the rules engine has to be set up by the travel agency. It's a travel agency's package that's been uh, being created, and there are many guys out there, some good guys, true, true, who provide true. that. Gordon Wilson, CEO, Travelport. I uh, suppose we'll see each other in April in Hainan, China. I look forward to that, yes, absolutely. Cheers. Bye.